and welcome back. In this video, we will have a look at how to add an external gateway to the management server and do a VPN turn so that this client PC can be reached from the inside of the company network and it can reach the domain controller and other stuff inside the network. This over here should symbolize a branch office where we are connected through the internet. I'm going to give the network internal 192.168.20.0 as the internal address and 1.5 as the external address. I have already spun up the client PC, I have installed the gateway and run the first time wizard on it. If you want to see how to do this, please look at the first video I put up. So now let's go to the ma management console and add the gateway. We click new, uh, network object, gateway from server, gateway. And I choose classic mode, FW02, and we put in the external address of the gateway. We enter the SIG key used in the uh, first time wizard which is which is CP test one two and initialize. We can now see that the trust is established. Now we get the interfaces. Close. Because that we are did the manual net of the gateway earlier, we need to do a little bit more configuration. So we need to go to logs and add the external gate, the external management, and just remove this one. So now it only sees the external address of the management server. And to the fetch policy, we do the same thing. Add this one and remove this one. Okay. Because we are going to use VPN, <coughs> we have to do a little bit more. So let's just say OK to this. We need to add the external network as the branch office. So we do an add network. The internal network I have called network-1, so we call this network-2. Okay. Now we need to enable the IPsec VPN on both gateways. So first of all we go to the existing gateway and enable IPsec. We go to the network management extend this and select VPN domain. I always use manual defined and then add my internal network, which for this gateway is network one. Under IPsec, we can see that it already has the certificate of the management server. And if we click on traditional mode, we can see that almost everything is enabled so it can do whatever we like to do. Okay. We do the same on the other gateway. We enable IPsec in the VPN domain, manual defined, add the external network. And this, you can see, it has the management server CA, and it has the same. No authentication scheme is selected. It's driven to EPO. We select public key here. Okay. Now, the, the two gateways are ready for doing the VPN turn. We go to the VPN community, 
and we add. And there are two kinds. There are star community and mesh community. The difference is that in a mesh community, every gateway is allowed to talk to every gateway. And the, the VPN tunnels is going all the way over. In a star community, you have a sender gateway and all the external satellite gateways are communicating to that one. How you do your VPN depends on what you would like to do. We do a star community here because we want to be able to route the traffic through the sender gateway to the internet if we want to. We call it my my VPN. Yeah, for some. And we have the sender gateway, which is the sender firewall, which is the one we had earlier, and the satellite firewall, which is of course the other one. Encrypt traffic. We want to make a rule that does this encryption. You can see here that for Ike phase one it use use AES two sixty five shared one and the Helming group two and for phase two we change this to a little bit stronger encryption algorithm. Tunnel management. Here you can see if you want to have the tunnel permanent, so it will always be up, or it will only be negotiated up when it is used, when we have the use to it. If if there are traffic on the tunnel always, it doesn't matter very much. But if you have something and you need to ensure that the tunnel is always up, because if the tunnel has gone down, it takes a little bit of time to negotiate it and get it back up. So you can set it permanently. That can be useful if you are using IP telephone or something over it. It might be that. Here you can see, if you, here you have the three different things. To sender only, to sender and to other satellite gateways. Then you route traffic through the sender gateway to other branch offices. Or you can see to send satellite, from satellite gateway to sender gateway and then to the internet. So all traffic will go through the sender gateway to the internet. Um, this one we are not going to use because we don't have multiple endpoint, uh, entry points into it. We don't have a backup gateway or something like that. Excluded service. Here it is always a good idea to exclude Ike. So Ike is not part of the VPN tunnel. Shared secret, we are not going to use shared secret because we are using certificates from the management server. In wire mode, if you enable that, all other blades it will be bypassed uh, from this. So it might be that if you don't want to in inspect the traffic with anti-malware, that kind of stuff, you can select bypass. A firewall and then the traffic will just go unexpected through the firewall in the VPN tunnel. In advanced, we will need to see disable net inside the community. We don't want the in networks to be address translated in the network. We want to just do this. You can also make this rule manual. Okay, now we have this. Then let's go here and add a rule. And we add the two networks. Oh, I forgot to put in name. source and we had the two network as destination VPN we say all side to side VPN communities we can also specify which VPN community that we want to use service and applications we just say any because we want users to just have have any applications you can limit this 
if you want to. But for this test, we will just do it. And then we go and accept the traffic. Of course, we're going to log it. And we're going to add both gateways. And that should pretty much be it. Now we install it. a little bit time and you can see now we have two gateways because it, it this has a yellow mark is because the license the eva license is about to expire and we just click install And let's see if we can ping the other client in the other end. And of course we can't. Something went wrong here. And let's see. Let's have a look in the log file to see what we have forgot. This is the other client. see here if we can ping the other way yes we can ping the management server the domain controller so let's go back to see why we didn't was wasn't able to ping the other way so if we select the source client this is the source and that See here, we have all the log entries. Add to field up. Just change this to the client. see that we are going from the client to this one it is encrypted and it looks okay let's have a look again it can be that yeah it just had need time to um, get the tunnel up you were just impatient Thank you for having a look and this is how you do a simple and easy VPN tunnel between two gateways. I will hope to see you back. Have a nice day.